coaches, first of all, just your your reaction when you're like everybody else when you heard the news yesterday. Just kind of what, how did all that kind of kind of hit you? It was uh, it was devastating. You know, we were in practice and um, you know we were like in between sessions, and and one of the managers came up and said, you know, Kobe Bryant, you know, just died, and um, it hit me like a ton of bricks because I didn't I didn't understand what he said at first, and then I just walked off the court and went to my office and and saw it, and it was, you know, I was frozen. You know, he's um. I and mean, obviously everyone knows what he's done, you know, as far as basketball wise, but mm-hmm. he was an incredible person and just a giant in, in, in the world, you know what I mean? And so it was it was shocking. And there was a story I know that Mike has pointed out that at one point in time he called you the best defensive player he'd ever faced. Yeah. I know you've heard that before. I mean, how did that kinda of, how does it still kinda of make you feel to, to hear him say that? I mean anytime someone who is as great a player as he is, you know, would say something like that about about you is, um, you know, it makes you feel good. And I mean, it's it's an extreme honor, you know, for someone like that to say something like that about me. You know, mm-hmm. so I mean, it's carried. I mean, it's followed me throughout my whole career, and it's helped me a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, I can only thank him, you know, so much for for what he's done for me in mm-hmm. my life and, and the friendship that we had. Now you played at Chester High School, correct? How many times did you guys play against each other? A ton of times. Yeah. I mean, um, through high school, our, our high school teams, you know, faced each other a bunch of times. You know, we played with and against each other, you know, in the summers and, you know, different leagues. So, a ton of times. Any memorable games <laughs> kind of stand out uh, to you? Each, I mean, that's probably a lot of them. But each one is memorable. Yeah. You know, uh, they actually, he actually ended my high school career. <laughs> you, know, um, you know, we lost them in the uh, the game to get to the state finals, you know, in, in Pennsylvania. And, you um, they beat us in overtime. Mm-hmm. You know, he ended up having about 39 points, 27 from the free throw line. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering about that since he called the best defensive player he played. Right, right. but uh, <laughs> you know, he just, just, you know, it hurts. You know, um, but I mean, he, he blessed us and you all and you know, the rest of the world with, with memorable times. What did you see in him back then in high school that sort of maybe was a clue to the, the player in person he would become once he got into the NBA and beyond? I mean, he was, I mean, I, I tell a story all the time. You know, he was just different. You know, his approach to everything was different. Um, I remember a time when we were uh, in AAU, and he was my roommate, you know, on the road. And, um, you know, a typical young, you know, 16, 17-year-old guy on the road in a hotel away from home, you know, you want to have fun. You know, you want to play video games. You want to, you know, walk the streets a little bit, maybe go to the mall. And... Um, you know, it's around 8 o'clock, 8.30, and it's lights out. You know, we're in a hotel, you know, we're young, and, you know, the lights are out, it's bedtime. You know what I mean? And, and uh, so I'm like, Kobe, man, like, like why, why we got to go to bed so early? You know, but, you know, we had a big matchup the next night, I mean, the next morning uh, with Tim Thomas, who was one of the, you know, be- you know, biggest high school players at the time and played a bunch of years in the NBA. You know, that was our matchup the next morning, so. He was. He wanted to be ready and, and energized, and and um, and he came out the next morning and put on a show. But my, my point is, his his approach to the game of basketball and to the game of life was just like that. You know what I mean? Like he, it was about business early on, and and that's something that always stuck out to me. Not many guys make that jump right from high school to the pros. No. I mean, did it surprise you that he was able to do what he did and make that transition so smooth? It. It surprised me because you never think, even though I knew he was going to be great and I knew he was going to be special, I didn't think he was going to be that, you know, special. You know, like Michael Jordan is my favorite player and his also, I mean, among, you know, Magic Johnson and and those guys, but I never thought that he would be mentioned in the same breath as Jordan, you know what I mean? Uh, But I knew because he approached things the right way and he he had an unbelievable unbelievable work ethic that he was going to be special. You remember the last time you spoke with him? Yep. Um, well, his, his father was my agent and, you know, a friend of mine. You know, so we always, you know, kind of stayed in touch. Uh, not so much recently, you know, through the last maybe four four years or so. But I always stayed in touch with the family, the sisters and, and cousins and father, obviously. Have you talked to them since the news came out yesterday? No, nah, you know, I've sent messages, you know, out to them. Um, but I'm sure, you know, they don't want to hear from anybody. You know what I mean? I'm sure it's it's um, it's a tough time in, in, in that household and, and you know, amongst all of the family.
you know, as it is for all of us, you know, really who've known him and, and who are big supporters of his. How does something like this affect, like, guys on your team? I mean, guys you probably, you know, grew up, you know, watching Kobe, loving Kobe and all that. How does that affect kids like that? You're talking about the team yeah, here? Yeah, team here, yeah. The team oh, man, here. I mean, Kobe was – he was how Michael Jordan was to us, you know, growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, Kobe was their Michael. And, um, you know, when they found out, you know, obviously I was in different, you know, headspace myself, but, you know, you could just hear guys like Anthony say, man, he's – you know, I wanted to be like him when I was growing up. You know what I mean? So it affects us all, you know, and, and more so to those guys who looked up to him. Maybe time for one or two more questions.